Here's how to get audio going for the first time with Max. For starters, you'll want to have a look at the audio status window. The audio status window is found under the options menu. The top section of the window is all you need to consider when getting started. Below that are more advanced settings that can be tweaked later on if you wish. You'll need to specify the audio driver that you want Max to use. On a Mac, this is most likely going to be the core audio driver, regardless of whether you're using the computer's built-in audio system or an external audio interface. Next, you can decide the inputs and outputs that Max will send and receive signals to and from. In this case, I have the choice of my computer's built-in inputs and outputs or my external audio interface's inputs and outputs. Then you'll want to turn audio on using the audio menu. When set to on, all signal generating objects in your open patches will send signals from the appropriate outlets. And when it's set to off, they will stop. Notice how the noise generator in my patch stops sending signal to the spectroscope when I set the audio menu to off. Also notice that the mixer icon in my patch's toolbar switches from colored to uncolored depending on whether audio is off or on. Clicking the mixer icon produces a small mixer interface with an on-off switch that will also control Max's global audio on-off state. You can also toggle audio on and off from within the patch by clicking directly onto an EasyDAC object. Like the mixer interface, it indicates Max's global audio state by changing its color.